Beloved intercessor, may the Lord bless you. Thank God for the work you are doing diligently and daily for the kingdom of God in your groups. To experience revival in our groups and in this network, we must defeat doubt. The Bible says in Hebrews 11.1, 1, faith shows the reality of what we hope for. It is the evidence of things we cannot see. So it's the contrary of doubting. Is assurance. In verse 38 in uh, Luke chapter 24, which is the chapter we are basing, basing all these videos during this week, Jesus asked, Why are you frightened? He asked, Why are your hearts filled with doubt? And that's a big problem in one of the barriers to revival. When we are not sure, are you sure? of what God told you and promised you for your group, for your family, intercessor, for your life. Then Jesus said, look at my hands, look at my feet. You can see it is really me. Still they stood there in disbelief, filled with joy and wonder. What a confusion and what a combination. They wanted to believe, but they were not sure. And then in verse 45, it says, then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said, yes, it was written long ago that the Messiah would suffer and die and rise from the dead on the third day. My friend, Jesus is here to persuade us to trust him. I'm going to ask you, this is going to be the call to action for today. Make a list of all your doubts that are consuming your strength and any doubts you have in regard to your ministry, to your family, to your future, repent and renounce to the Emmaus syndrome. Cancel and declare then the promises of God for you. In Jesus' name, let's keep strong until we embrace the world in prayer. God bless you.